Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to continue on interior. Let's get to it. All right, I tried putting the dash in. It kind of looks like it's in place, right? No. So it needs to kind of get shifted forward, I don't know, maybe two or three inches, and it needs to get down. So right now it's hanging up on the seats, and then even below the seats there's um, a place for the seat belts. So I'm just trying to put this in place to see where I need to notch out. But uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of a look of what it might look like. All right, looking at this panel, um, this one actually fits some somewhat decently. Um, at the back though, there is a gap or a space between the bottom of the panel and the fasten point. Um, again, as I, I think I mentioned this last video, but I believe the design was intended to have this raise up. Um, it's a very shallow glove box. Um, I'm still thinking potentially that I will have this be like a traditional glove box. So it's got this other panel that goes underneath. And I don't know, I'll look at it further, but I think I might just have this one hinged down to kind of be more like a traditional glove box. Okay, for the uh, gauge cluster surround, um, this one fits okay left to right, but basically it needs to move back. I don't know, I'll call it uh, half inch, quarter inch. So it's got some space, I can fit a finger in here. Um, and it's kind of like a wedge design. So meaning I can't really push it back because it's wedged as far as it'll go. So I think what this may mean is I'll have to kind of unwrap it, do like I did with this other panel and kind of shave the sides. Um, I really don't want to, this is a challenging one to wrap, but uh, that might be what we do. All right, one other thing I noticed on this panel, um, let's see if you can see inside here, but basically this right here, this feature, um, can you see that one? So it kind of limits the travels where this is trying to push back, um, it's, it's hitting into this feature here. So I might, because I think even if I um, shave the sides, it can't go back any further because of that. So I might see if I can kind of reprofile that so it can slide back a little bit further. Um, yeah. I think this also kind of shows you the gap that's at the top. Because again, this is about where I'd want it to sit. So I'll have to make some spacers there. All right, so I was able to kind of um, cut that off. So it slides all the way back now. So this goes as far back as I want it to. It still kind of wedges a little bit, but I don't know that that's too bad because I can set it all the way back and it's just kind of wedged in there. So I think that's what we'll try for now. Okay, I'll try and show you the best I can one-handed, but this is kind of how those two panels fit. And again, I think this top one was meant to go up. So I'll try and support the bottom one here. But so if it goes up, it kind of, this is wrapping, but that's what you've got. So again, I could trim this panel down to kind of this level here, but that's, that's what that could be. So again, I do a hinge there. The other option is to have this lower piece kind of drop down like a traditional glove box. Um, if I wanted to, this, this top part can still be a, a section that you put in papers and things, and then the bottom one's more of a, you know, kind of a, a deep recess that you could put other things in. Um, I will check though, see if there's any fit issues if I want to have this drop down. Um, yeah, we'll keep looking at it. All right, it was challenging for me to kind of measure the distance between the underside of this and the top side of that. So what I ended up doing is getting some clay and then just kind of putting things in place. And so now I'll take, take this out and kind of measure the thickness and that's the size of spacer I'll use. We measured this 0.4 and that at 0.8. So I'll go ahead and make some spacers. All right, I got this one fastened. Got two points there. I also did two points kind of at the bottom underside of that gauge cluster. So again, very, very secure. 
and I think I think that'll do it for this one. I have made a decision on this side. So again, I think the uh, the intent is this one can come up. If I did that though, um, I need a hinge, and this back section is not even straight, so I'd have to kind of section the panel, create another hinge there, um, or I think I just want to do it from bottom. Bottom, I can have the hinge kind of fasten to that and just drop down. So again, I think that's the direction I'll go, which means I'll get to fastening this top panel. All right, I got my clay out again to see what kind of spacers I might need on this side. And I kind of found a problem. So this shelf that's here, um, I'll just kind of say, I don't know, this distance, so keep in mind that distance. When I look at this, so that distance is here, the fasten point is right here. So let's see if you can see it when I press it down. Oh, can you see that? I feel like you can't see it. There you go, you can kind of see that. So that's where that is. If I take a look overhead and kind of move this out of the way, that's not gonna be, it's not gonna hit that spot. So I think what that means is I'm gonna unwrap this one and get some new, get some new spots. So I got this panel all cleaned up. I even got some spacers made. Um, before I started drilling holes, um, I did notice one thing. So again, I think it'd be better to fasten over here. However, the, I'll call it the aesthetics. So kind of where the, call it the fasten point is for here, 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 here. So they're all kind of lining up. You know, if we're here, if I like make them up, um, I don't think that'll look too good. So I think I'll try and keep, um, keep this in the same place and just uh, kind of make some spacers to make it work. Okay, so I made some brackets. My thought is I'm going to uh, put them in here. So I'm going to use some rib nuts and put them in there and then I'll put that panel on, make sure I've got everything just right and that'll be kind of the mounting holes for that guy. Okay, I got my brackets kind of all to shape. I had to do some welding and even some bending, but it's kind of right where I want things to be now. So now I'm just gonna drill through this top piece into those brackets, and then I'll uh, kind of drill all the way through the brackets, and those will be the fasten points. All right, I got it fastened in place here. I'm now gonna create two more fasten points up front just so it can't get pushed down. Okay, that took way longer than I thought, but uh, just accessing these screws and things up front is not the easiest, but um, I really think like this panel and this panel should probably like never really be removed. Um, I am gonna take the stereo out. Uh, I gotta take, I'm gonna take the seats out of the car to get the, uh, the whole dash in. And once it's in, um, I gotta drill holes through the bottom to kind of bolt to the bottom and then I'll kind of do some seam sealer or uh, automotive adhesive kind of on the frame. So when it sets down, it'll kind of just be rattle free and kind of tack everything in place. All right, I'm gonna turn my focus on to the gauge cluster here. 
Um, I'm going to be using an iPad for the display. Uh, we made this guy um, a couple episodes ago. Put a link right up there. So for this guy, I got this 3D printed. Um, it, I kind of made some reliefs and things for the on-off button and uh, cables. Um, but this is just going to go on the back side of this one. So it'll go like so. And so I just I've got some uh, fiberglass nuts that I need to put on that will so I can fasten this to this to kind of the back side. Um, I think while I'm at it, I will kind of touch this up. I I think want to put a layer of the UV clear coat just so things don't fade. But uh, yeah, we'll work on that. All right, one other thing I'm going to do before I kind of finalize this guy. Um, again, I've got access to kind of the volume buttons as well as the on off. Um, but I don't really have access to the uh, thumb pad, whatever you want to call it, home button. So I will go ahead and kind of carve out a little spot there just in case I need to get to that as well. All right, rather than notching out the one little spot for the kind of home button, I ended up kind of creating an entire arc. I felt like it would look better. And then again, I felt like I needed to match it on the other side. So let's see if I can get this in place right about like so. So anyways, that's kind of about what it'll look like. I still got to put the uh, other indicators in. But uh, to finish this one off, I'm going to go ahead and kind of, we'll call it bevel, give it a very soft edge here on where I've just cut it, and then I'll give another coat of black and clear. I just finished up some of my most excellent painting work. So I will let this uh, dry up and then kind of get things mounted. All right, so we got this one painted, got a clear coat on. Um, I'm trying to match this one now to the 3D printed part. So I made up uh, just a couple brackets. Can, I've got some holes drilled and threaded so I can, essentially my plan is to fiberglass these in place to this guy and then just kind of bolt there. Got uh, on the other side here as well. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, I got this one fastened. So it's all kind of secure here. So now I've got to put this one in here. I do not know what the correct sequence is, but I'm thinking before, I actually might even take out the stereo before I put in my kind of dash cluster there. I'm thinking it'll be easier to kind of set this in place without all that stuff. So I do know that, uh, again, this one comes out easy. I need to take out both seats. Um, I might need to take out these ones as well. I got the dash in. A um, couple things I need to look at. So I was thinking that potentially the seat belt was going to be a problem, but um, it's not. I mean, I pull on it up or whatever and it doesn't move the console there. Um, this one though goes inside there. So this one I need to kind of fold around the outside when I put it in. Um, the other thing is the side panels. Um, I'll show you over there. So the side panel, um, again, my, my whole thought was to have this be an access panel so I can pop this off. I've got the battery and other things here. Um, and so I can slide it in almost. So see, we're pretty close there. And then this side just needs to be notched out ever so slightly so it can kind of slide down. Um, so I'll do that. Uh, the other thing is um, I'm going to make these guys, uh, I'll wrap them in the black vinyl as well. This will be, you know, covered up by the door. And again, my thought is this will be interior. So I'll wrap that one, both of them, kind of before I secure them in place. It's looking good. All right, so add some challenges here. Um, 
This one I started, kind of started like I think in that corner there and kind of was going along and I realized that um, this here, you'd have to really fold back kind of a deep depression. And again, the material you just can't, can't fold it in like that. So really I felt, I felt like I needed to start there. And so on this other, this other panel, um, I started there and it worked a lot better, but I still had, I still had to create a seam there. Um, it just, I had to stretch it so far and like there was just so much material here. Um, it just couldn't, couldn't work. And um, now I'm getting to this side and if this was just kind of straight across, it would work well, just kind of fold down and over. But this one's kind of got, I'll show you, but it kind of goes down and like that. And so what happens is you can see this is kind of starting to get really tight around here. Just get on the another seam here, just to kind of make it splay out a little easier, kind of cover both ends. Um, again, seams aren't bad. I just like to try to do it without seams. So um, I'll probably just kind of make some slits, finish these ones up, and continue. All right, I've got a lot of uh, things to clean up here, but this is just kind of showing you the panel. So again, I just kind of cut a seam along here and I've got some seam material that uh, covers that up well. Um, I'll show you here in a second, but basically this is kind of the inside of the car, kind of footwell area. And then this is the other side. And again, I just have a seam right along there. So in general, I'm, I'm quite liking it. Um, here's the other panel. It's it's all uh, wrapped as well. And so I'll show you the seam material I was talking about. Is kind of it's this here. So when you have a seam, it kind of covers it up nice. So um, I'll get some of that for now. I'll see if I can get these two panels in the car. Kind of see if I can button up the rest of the interior. Okay, I set the driver's side in. Kind of had to fish. This is the wires that go to the door, you know, speakers and door locks. Um, but anyways, this is kind of what I think it'll look like. Um, I've got. I also wired. This is a couple episodes ago, but can you see that one? The is the trunk switch. So basically, when I push that button, it'll unlatch the trunk. So I'll go ahead and do the uh, other side. Just put in the uh, passenger side as well. So uh, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, see if we can get some things wired up. So I'm in anxious for the uh, display there. Get that in, get it all wired up. And also the center console. That's probably about all the time we'll have for today. got the interior all in. Um, kind of challenging here uh, on the dash trying to get all the indicator lights and things on but uh, I believe I got that sorted out. Um, again I've got wires running back and forth to the stereo so again that should be operational. All this should be operational. I think everything's uh, pretty much there. So again this is what the uh, dash will look like. Turn on the car. So I need to get this set up so it works, turns on with the car, but. So again, got my stereo system that comes up. Um, got my indicator lights. So if I do blinkers, left, right. Um, I guess I my foot on the brake. And we'll go into drive, and to reverse, back to neutral.
So again, looking good. All right, everybody, that's all the time we have for this week. See you next week.